It is June, mid-June. We're here on the Upper Magnetowan River. We're actually running from Jim Baird's house, the adventurer. Hi, I'm Jim. That's Jim. You might know him. I don't, I don't want to be on camera. And we're going down to Wawakesh Lake. Jim's going on from there solo, but me and uh, Alex Trainer from Northern Scavengers. The bugs are thick. The bugs are thick, folks. We are going to be taking the uh, decked prospector here. Going to be running some awesome white water down on the Upper Magnetowan River uh, for the weekend. And after that, Jim's going to continue on his own. You ready for this, dude? All right. See ya, Tori. See ya. Fingers crossed, no dumps, but I can't promise you anything. So, should be a killer adventure. I'm looking forward to this one. Always nice to get some white water in. The Magnetowan River flows 175 kilometers from Algonquin Provincial Park to Georgian Bay, but it's the wild and scenic upper and lower sections that attract canoeists. Our adventure begins at Poverty Bay Chutes, paddling downstream to Wawakesh Lake. Our journey will take us through numerous rapids, swollen and churning with unseasonably high water levels. Over the course of our 28 kilometer trip, the river tumbles nearly 55 meters over chutes and runnable rapids of up to class 4 difficulty. Needless to say, we couldn't wait to get on the water and experience the thrill of the upper mag for ourselves. It's a rainy day, it's a grey day, but you know what, dry suits on, white water, we're going to be getting wet anyways, it's going to be a lot of fun. Along the right of that little crest? Yeah, and that big rooster tail there, we want to just be to the left of it, I think. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. Way to go, dude. That was a fun little one. This rain just does not want to quit. It's been raining consistently, has not let up for a brief moment all freaking day. Class one, get her done on the river. <laughs> How's that line? Yeah, right off to the left there between that boulder. Is this good right here? Yeah. So Alex and Brad are about to run this technical rapid, probably about a class two. Pretty easy really, but still a few things that could go wrong for sure. Oh, they're just nailing it. Perfect. Yeah, buddy! Dude, that was good. That was awesome. Paddle slap for that, bro. Dude, awesome line. Awesome line. Yeah! Cool. This is the one that me and my brother tried running. First time we run this, you're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like, what an idiot. So we're not running that for what should be obvious reasons. Jim's a nutcase, man. He ran this thing and flipped. This is just tight. On a gnarly portage. The canoe all we have left? Uh, and the pack and some like life jacket stuff. Like we really were almost ready for... Yeah. We're putting the boat in, I'm like, oh, the paddle's not secure. Boom, paddle goes in the water. Holy shit. Dude, I had like this feeling, I'm like, that paddle's not that secure. That's why I got the paddle pockets. No worries. Shit happens. If it's hung up on the shore, we'll grab it. I hope we can find it. <laughs> Did you see it anywhere? <laughs> Without the paddle, you got a lot of weight. There it is. We got her back. Well, that was a lesson in and what not to do. Flat water paddling, then we get to a raging rapid. Nice! Hey, Bucky! Hey, Buck! Who's over there? Who's over there? Who's there? Oh, hey, buddy! So, I am uh, absolutely terrified right now. 
Jim's got to get his line like perfectly here. I got to hit the V at the top perfectly. Then you're going to see me cross draw left to avoid some irregular waves and holes at the bottom. This has got a solid drop and then a big rooster tail and you have to hit it right on the tongue. And it's only probably about a foot wide. If Jim doesn't hit it, Jim's going for a swim. <sighs> Here he goes, man. There's the first. Gnarly, oh! Shit. And he's out. He's okay. Dude, I saw you spin around there. I'm like, oh, f man. So after watching Jimmy flip there, we're uh, taking a bit of a portage ski. Look at that gnarly beast. Weighted tandem that would probably be pretty sketch. It was even sketch pretty solo for Jim there, so. Whatever, 100 meters. Get her over with. And we still gotta run like a probably a little class one or class two at the bottom of this. Nothing major, but you know. Why risk it? We still got some more sets to run. This is the first stretch that we've had no rain. No rain! <laughs> Holy crap, I can maybe take my camera out without it getting soaked. Dude, this is, oh. this is mid. Wow. This is like so nice now. It's as good as it gets. I like to be a fry baby and complain about the rain, but like there's some point where I'm just today, I'm just like, like, come on, man, you know? Well, it's like on a weekend trip too. Like on a week long trip, it, you're like, okay, it's gonna rain, but like. You start yeah. a trip and it's pissing rain and you're like in the morning, 9 a.m., it's dark. You're like, man, God, I'm so stoked for doing this, but at the same time, I'm like, this. yeah, man, I don't feel this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not <laughs> feeling it right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh well, I'm looking forward to actually running some decent rapids now. Yeah, that'd be nice. Sounds like we got a couple left today. Get it. We could actually film it too with the skies drying up. So far so good. I think Jim said there's a couple more runnable rapids. One that's maybe a gnarly questionable one. So we'll see. Pretty stoked if we get some decent white water again. A lot of these rapids form in these Nice little slot canyons. I mean, they're not necessarily impressive right from the banks in terms of sheer cliff walls, but if you're looking up on the forested slopes here, there's a lot of sheer rock walls. You've got oaks and white pines just clinging to the rocks here, overhanging the river. Some parts, it's almost like a tree tunnel with some of these overhanging trees. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous slice of Ontario here. What's up, bud? It just looks pushy, eh, Jim? Oh, this looks fun. Right, that's a straight V, dude, and we can ride some of the wave train if you want. Let's get a little wet, eh? Here we go. Whoa, baby! Yahoo! Hey! Dude, that was sick. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. We're gonna battle a culvert. Well, actually, Jim's gonna battle a culvert first and show us how not to do it. The culvert at Maple Island, and there's a freaking tree across it. What the heck? Obviously, from the flood, I'm gonna try to sneak under it. It's not bad, but there's a bit of a current going under there. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. <laughs> That's a little sketch, dude. Son of a bitch. Baird is sketching. What if we just line it underneath there on the left? Maybe, yeah. Okay, so it's doable. Jim, do you want a hand getting through? Here I go. That's pretty sweet. Helmet, baby. Some people come out here with a rapid, they come up with a trail mix. So this looks like a pretty fun class too. And uh, we're gonna go scout this one out. Looks like it's pretty easy, but always a good idea to get out and scout it. Jim's gonna run it. 
shoot some video of him, and Alex and I are gonna run it straight forward, man. It's pretty pushy leading up to it. I don't want to dump again. All right, we are gonna hit this C2 here. It's gonna be pretty fun. Take on a bit of water even with the deck. I think we might submerge the boat a bit here, but yeah, nothing technical, nothing hard at all. Just some nice pushy standing waves. So hopefully it's a good clean run and we're gonna have a lot of fun on this one. Let's rock and roll, dude. Here we go. Fuck yeah. Dude, that like totally just stopped us. All right, awesome little run. Took on a bit of water, even with the deck. Just wasn't done up as much in the front there, but man, pretty sweet. These bugs would just bug off. It'd be like a perfect day now that the rain stopped. How's the bugs, man? So bad right now. These mosquitoes are ridiculous. Like all of my hair, dude. <laughs> All right, let's go, Blueberry. When Noah came up, I'm pretty sure it's a good one. So we got three more rapids today? Yeah, yeah, so right now we got like- Three more rapids. Five. I'm not sure which way we want to go down here. No, right there on the left. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Three down? Nice guys. It's just a little sketch with that water pushing in that rock there. Eh? Yeah. I was like, uh. <laughs> you might be better off going around on the other side of the tree. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, we got a couple new chips on the bottom of that. Yeah, see, I'm thinking doing exactly what Jim's doing. Should be a fun one, man. And then right at the end there, pop down. Yep. Yeah! Hey, man. We uh, took on a bit of water. <laughs> Probably more than you thought you might be, right? Yeah, man. Every My second. was filling up too. Dude, it's nuts. Do you guys want to come look at the map and make the executive decision on, on going? Because this is Maple Island here, so we can go straight up. We're at a nice little class three. The camera is shaking. I'm actually pretty cold. <laughs> I didn't wear a lot of like base layers into this and just getting rained on and then being like sweaty as well. Just kind of got like one of those cold porch hills going on. Not the end of the world. As long as I can paddle, we're good, right? All right, dude. Let's go. Yeah, man. Paddles up. Yep. Line's good, eh? Yep. Let's get over to the right side already. Yep. Oh, it's pulling us over a bit. As you can see, that uh, didn't work out too well for Brad and Alex. And it looks like they actually just had a fun swim and probably cooled off a bit. But they hit the first part so perfectly, but just that boiling high volume uh, water that we have right now just kind of caught them with a, a wave that was curling in like right there. That I think they hit and they weren't expecting it to flip them and uh, they swam. But uh, that's all right. Now I feel better about myself because I dumped earlier. So, you know, now we're even. Jim, Jim likes it because we're even now. Jim did a dump, we did a dump. 
We're all square. We're all square. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Man, so nice to have a nice day. Pretty long day though. If we see a nice sight though, we might just hop over and take it and leave a little white water for tomorrow. Boys, did we find our home? Uh, I don't know. It Look, it's kind of a cool spot because of that little rapid there and the waterfall and the fishing might be good, but it, it just there's not too many flat spots for a tent. But it looks all right though. Thank you, dude. How good are these jackets, dude? Man, I am in like a small heaven right now. It's like a mini oasis, like, oh. Seriously, I was starting to go mentally insane by how bad these bugs were. The bugs are thick. The bugs are thick, folks. Jim is just getting like, donating blood. I can feel it, like all these little pricks all over my back. Look at these are just like mosquitoes, they're eating them alive. What a dude. Yo, what's going on guys? We are reporting live from the safety of the bug tent and it is just like, I can't even describe in words right now how nice this is. It's a war zone out there. Like, it's a literal war zone. <laughs> it is insane. Like, just to be in here without my bug helmet on. <laughs> so nice. They were getting dive bombed, like, out there. Look at them all. Yeah, like, all above you. Top. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, man. Like, if you get, like, a loose cluster so there's, like, air in it. Done, I don't have that much either. Like I didn't bring a ton of food really. I brought a lot of trail mix though. Trail mix, baby! <laughs> Woo! Man, we have so much food. Right, you ready for this flip? What? <laughs> Brad does not mess around when it comes to food. And we were eating like kings on this trip. Well, because he also brought poutine. Crazy. Yeah. This pup right now is so happy to be inside the bug zone and not have bugs surrounding his head. Buck, how you doing down there? Is that Buck? Buck, you just bucking around? Yo, Buck! Hey, quit bucking around over there. Oh, there you are. This is like, uh, I see the french fries are out. <laughs> have you guys made food yet or what? What are you doing right now? Bugs on your head right now are just insane. So dumb. Here too. It's like nothing is sacred. Thanks, Thanks dude. Like twelve. Man, this is like post trip meal. On trip. I'm just I'm in heaven right now, dude. This is delicious. Mmm. Sunday here a little overcast now and we slept in a bit but yeah we're gonna get on the river fairly shortly I'm thinking here we've got one portage Jim saying um, apparently it's a pretty rough one we'll see how it goes cuz I uh, pretty sure I fractured my toe yesterday just hopping around the campsite slipped on some rocks hopped up pretty high on uh, ibuprofens and the pain meds right now to get through this portage and the rest of the day we got a easy rapid after that apparently and then we're just paddling on a wawa cache back to the car so looks to be a pretty easy day let's we'll see if there's any surprises but yeah can't wait to get on the water today we have a portage to start the day out like a hundred meter paddle and then a portage which isn't super fun, but it's not a super long one. Miserable portage. And then we have one more rapid, a rapid called Lovesick, which is an easy class one. Um, and then quite a bit of flat water paddling, and then we're done. Yeah, man. Portage is something else. <laughs> so definitely gonna be an easier day than yesterday. Red. 
right, all right. Big portage out of the way. It's just like friggin' getting hammered with mosquitoes here now though. Holy jeez, man. Look at how many bugs are running. It's miserable. It's killing like multiple just with random claps in the air. Look, it's right around this area. Woo! One, two, three, four, <coughs> five is your average, between five and six. Mosquito in my lung. <coughs> Joy. Nice little bit of current through here. Want to go far left? Yeah, go far left. Oh, last rapid of the trip, unfortunately, man. Oh. Good ones though. Yeah. What do you guys think though? Good trip? Solid trip, man. The white water was great. It was like a lot of fun. Some had some good maneuvering involved too. Yeah. And uh, even when we dumped, man, like that was a good learning opportunity just to see like where we just got our line slightly yeah. off. All right, Jim. It was great seeing you, but. All right, guys. I'm going to steal Alex's stand, camera. Can't stand you anymore. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. So Jim's leaving us. Heading down Wawa Cash. Out to the Magnetowan and out to the bay, he's gonna meet up with his brother. Let's roll the cameras. <laughs> right on. I love how Jim's leaving and he's going the same way as us. Baby!